Welcome back to Hardball. Sarah Palin's husband, Todd, is refusing to testify in the so-called Troopergate investigation. But the Alaska state senator overseeing the probe said today it will be completed by early October, just the same. It has all raised the political stakes in Alaska and for those voters who happen to be watching this nationwide. Hardball's David Schuster has more. Today, the Palins campaigned in Minnesota and gave no hint of the drama unfolding back in Alaska. Thank you, Minnesota! Last night, a lawyer for Todd Palin said he would not honor an order to testify in the abuse of power investigation. A Palin campaign spokesman claimed the probe is politically tainted and that the lead investigator is unfair. His insistence on a continuing partisan inquiry in the middle of a presidential election leaves little doubt that politics are afoot. Democrats and a few Republicans in Alaska charge, however, it's the McCain-Palin campaign playing politics by stonewalling the investigation. The case itself centers on Alaska's former public safety commissioner, Walt Monaghan. He says the governor, her family and staff pressured him for over a year to fire state trooper Mike Wooten, who went through a nasty divorce and child custody battle with Governor Palin's sister. What they said is things like this man should not be a trooper. This man shouldn't represent the troopers. It was continual. It was a kind of reoccurring theme. If it wasn't, initially it was with the governor and her husband, but then it became other commissioners. And, uh, and not only did they call me, but they called other members of my staff. Monaghan says he looked at Wooten's record and found no grounds to terminate him. In July, Governor Palin fired Monaghan. I mean, the very first night it happened, I walked away scratching my head. But since then, watching how she jumped from one topic to another, it narrowed it down in my mind exactly why I was terminated. At first, Palin praised Monaghan and said she was simply transferring him to another department. But this week, Palin's new legal team said Monaghan had been fired for insubordination. In any case, tape recordings emerged in July backing up allegations that Palin's family and staff pressured Monaghan over Trooper Wooten. The state legislature then announced a bipartisan investigation into Palin's ethics. Back then, Governor Palin welcomed the move, saying, quote, hold me accountable. But once Palin was chosen as John McCain's running mate, her position changed. She and her staff backed away from pledges to testify voluntarily, so Democratic and Republican lawmakers then voted to issue subpoenas to 13 people, including Palin's husband. By all accounts, the firing in Alaska of a state commissioner is small potatoes, especially compared to Alaska's history of big-time corruption. But Sarah Palin has argued that she is a reformer, and the refusal of her family and staff to testify is itself making this case a big deal. I'm David Schuster for Hardball in Washington.